Good morning everyone. Today's devotional from Psalm 2 is about fear and trembling. It says in verse 11 of Psalm 2, Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Does this mean that we should be terrified of God? Do we need to be physically trembling? What does this mean? Well, this phrase, fear and trembling, in our English versions is mentioned a few times in the Bible. To mention a couple, it's used in 2 Corinthians. Uh, Paul uses it to describe how people should feel about Titus coming and bringing his leadership and his teaching. And then it's again in Philippians 2, where Paul tells us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. So what does it mean? Well, in Psalm 2, it talks about, the majority of it talks about how the nations have a very poor attitude towards God. And fear and trembling is very much the opposite of how they're feeling about God there and then. Instead of understanding God uh, as the authority and having the deeper sense of respect for him, they just try and be more powerful than God and try and rebel against him. That's the sense that you get in this psalm. Fear and trembling reflects the kind of attitude that we should have towards God. And I think the best way of understanding it, it's a bit like when you stand on the beach and the waves from the sea are crashing in on you. They're large and they're just crashing on the stones and you see the vastness of the ocean, how beautiful it is and yet how perilous it might seem. And when you stand at the foot of a mountain and you see how large it is, how vast and complex it is and how dangerous it can be, you're left feeling a sense of powerlessness and a sense of how could I ever overcome this? Do we feel any of that when we think about God? Well, it says in Proverbs as well that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of of knowledge. Having this attitude isn't just right, it actually benefits us. So how would you describe your attitude towards God at the moment? Be honest. Let's spend some time contemplating God's authority and let's learn to have an attitude of fear and trembling.